Hi everybody, it's Cindy the Scrapologist and I'm here to do a flip through of a book that's going to be available in my shop tomorrow, June 25th. I am anticipating that I will hopefully have it in there by noontime and so I just wanted to do a flip through of it. There's, there will only be one available. This I'm calling a tribute to Gwen Frostick and if you ever come across any Gwen Frostick books run don't walk and grab up as many as you can because they are absolutely fabulous I came across these books along with um, several others in a, an antique store and these are all Gwen Frostick's books and it just really inspired me to do a junk journal and I didn't know anything about her until I saw these books but they're like the original junk journal. It's almost like she invented junk journaling. She was an artist from Michigan. She died around 2001 and she owned a um, a couple of companies. One was Press Craft Papers so they I, apparently they made their own papers and then Gwen Frostick Prints. She was an, an artist and I, I believe that most of her art was nature related and she liked to do block printing and um, so these books are just fantastic they are on the nicest paper look at this one for example all of the edges are all frayed and inside sometimes she'll just have a beautiful piece of high quality paper with one little image on it and this is her name. Go on camera. Why isn't it focusing? There we go. Gwen Frostick is her name. And this particular book is called A Walk With Me. And see how lovely, just how simple some of these pages are. So beautiful. I'm not going to flip through the whole thing, but look at her artwork on this gorgeous gorgeous paper. That's one. Oh, well, there's my receipt. <laughs> there's another. Um, this, this is called These Things Are Ours. And again, it's got really beautiful, high quality papers. Some of them feel handmade. They have a handmade texture to them. I don't know if that comes across. You can kind of see it up through here. And just her poetry is beautiful. I mean, look at this. It's just a beautiful sheet of paper with one single leaf falling. I just find that to be so moving and, and gorgeous. And this, the paper is just, there. these books are very tactile. This one's called Beyond Time. We've got a crow or a raven up here. I always get the two mixed up. But again, the ends, the ends are all frayed. It's on beautiful, nice quality paper. And this one here, are those who see, she used a variety of papers in here. And again, just on the end page, this beautiful spread of artwork with one of her poems. But one of the things, and look, oh, one of the things that I noticed she likes to do, and I'm going to, I'm actually going to experiment with this. Thank you, Gwen. She likes to take a piece of vellum and then she'll put a, she'll stamp it and the image, then she'll have an image behind it. And once you put them together, look how beautiful they look. I'm totally going to try this with some of my stamps. So here's another piece of vellum where you've got these ducks or loons. What are they? I'm not sure. I'm not good with, with birds. And you just have this simple image here, but when you lay the overlay on it, it ends up being just gorgeous. And she's got some handmade papers in here. Look at this. This feels like, um, well, it's actually a real fern in here. I can feel the texture. Isn't that amazing? 
I mean, this lady invented the junk journal, if you ask me. <laughs> it's so tactile and a variety of different papers. And this feels like a real butterfly in there. I don't know how they did that. I um, mean, yeah, a moth. I think that might be a moth. I'm not sure. And then colored in. But her books are just gorgeous. And it inspired me to make a junk journal in tribute to her. I did cut apart one of her books and I hemmed and hawed and hemmed and hawed about it but I, I did notice that there are some of these books on eBay and Presscraft Papers is still um, in business so you can still get these books are not super rare um, and so and it was kind of falling apart a little bit and so I felt okay tearing this one up and um, but I didn't with the others and I don't plan on it with the others so this junk journal here measures I think six and a half by nine and, and nine and a half with a one and a half inch spine it does have faux leather on on the spine that's kind of my signature thing that I do I like to put fabric on the spine and this um, lovely bow that has some some metal in it so you can shape it I think it's I think it actually might have been a Christmas thing because it looks like Holly's but I just thought it looked really nice on this book so so I put that around it and I didn't want to mess with the cover who am I to mess with Gwen Frostick's artwork, right? <laughs> so I left it as is. The only thing I did was um, Canvas Court made me up a bunch of this glimmer mist. This is called Cornbread. And this is the glimmer mist that I'm including in my junk journal kit that's currently in my shop. I only have 10 left. And I spritzed it with a little bit of the cornbread. It looks a little shiny here because I have the light shining directly on it, but it's um, when you're looking at it in person, it's very subtle. And that's all I wanted to do with it. I did not want to mess with her artwork whatsoever. And um, the back is the tissue paper technique that kind of looks like faux leather. And then inside are three signatures. I haven't counted the pages yet. I'll, I'll make sure I have that in my listing. And there are a lot of, I did some sewing, so there's a lot of fabric on the ends here as well. The, since the name of the book is called Wingborn, I um, had, this whole thing is bird themed. And I used a lot of the printables. I do have a um, vintage bird printable kit in my shop, and I used a lot of those. And I'll show you, when we get to those, I'll show you where I use, use them. This is from an old, an old, old dictionary that had some gorgeous center prints in it of a variety of animals, and I love owls, um, or these are hawks, <laughs> sorry. Um, so I, I love hawks and owls, so I put these in there. And this is another, so I used some of the pages from the book and reincorporated them into this. So this is one of her vellum sheets that has, I believe, a heron, and it don't, you know, don't um I don't know the names of birds so if I'm getting any of these wrong I apologize you can leave me a comment below and tell me the actual name of these birds if, if you want to so it has the heron on one side and then when you put it together it kind of look, makes it look like it's in flight and you've got wingborn here in in gold and Gwen's name here by Gwen Frostick so the first couple of pages are from her book it has a lovely poem in sudden flight the birds go by ascending into the boundless sky and her one of her block prints here on her gorgeous paper and then another one of her images here and then I put in handmade paper of my own in here because it goes really well with her paper there's a lot of tea stained paper I like to leave I like to 
keep them simple. I had to stop decorating this. I was having so much fun. I could have just decorated every single page. And I finally said, Cindy, you have to stop. <laughs> because whoever buys the journal is probably going to want a journal in it and do some artwork of their own. So I did stop myself. So there are uh, uh, quite a few pages in here for you to decorate. There's some ledger paper, some tea stained paper, some undercut papers. This is an image from my printables kit that I blew up. Some Audubon paper, um, I mean images of birds from an Audubon book. And here's some of the sewing that I did. This is really cool. It's a latex um, peel and stick and it looks really nice on the tea stained paper. So I put that on there, sewed a pocket, some beautiful lace with a doily. This is a handmade a, a paper that I made um, out, of, out of scraps. I had some that had um, birds and eggs and, and then I just kind of sewed it really messily. I've seen some people call these Franken pages. I like to make these out of my scraps and I show in my Use Your Scraps series, I do show how I did this particular page if you want to go and take a look at that. This is another one of Gwen Frostick's images, that cute, that absolutely sweet little chick and um, I put a coffee stain around it. And tuck spot with a journal card from my kit some messy stamping, tea staining, and then this is a card that opens up and I left this white for you. And there's a little envelope here with an old an old book page. I also do in my user scraps series, I show you how to make these envelopes too out of your scraps. And just another tuck spot with some birds. Here's a page that I also did a tutorial on. Um, I don't think it was in the user scraps, but it was how to make a booklet out of the sewing paper. So pattern paper. So here's a little, a little booklet with some images on it. This is stamped on and this is a real doily, paper doily some papers for you to decorate. There's the other end of that scrap paper that I made. And a doily, it says notes to self. Some eggs, that just put on with some washi. Here's the other end of that Audubon, pa Audubon paper, I guess. Oh, okay, that bird's called an avocet. I forgot I had looked at that, an avocet. This is from my printable kit. This is put on with washi so you can tuck something back there if you want. Ledger paper. Here's a page that I made with one of her poems. A leaf quivers at the end of a branch and then I tore it out and stained it and decorated it. Put a little vintage button down here. The most of the elements and papers like this that are in my junk journals are real antiques from the 1800s to 1920s. I don't buy new paper and then tea stain them. These are, these are real vintage. More handmade paper. Here's another one of her, her beautiful pieces of artwork with a poem. And look how beautiful this spread looks together. There's another one of hers. This poem is beautiful. Little plants rise from the earth each spring. Birds sing in loveliness. Frogs trill into the night as the stars come into view. Moss grows on an old, old log, bright and fresh and green. These things do not live for me, but because they are, I am. So beautiful. She just was a talented lady. Here's another one of her images that has the vellum. So that's what it looks like here. And when you put the vellum on, you discover that there's a little heron. It's just so gorgeous. 
is just another page with some a fern and some bird images, a little tuck spot. This is from my printables kit. Piece of scrapbook paper. I did do some sewing on it. This is a stamp that I had in my stash. And I stamped it like this because you can actually, how fun would it be for you to color that in and do a little doodling on that? Just a little tuck spot, pocket, whatever you want to call it, tuck spot from my printables kit. And then this is the center, the very center of the journal. And I put two of Gwen's images in here from the book. Here's the first one. Again, it's one of those beautiful, simple ones with one of her block prints on the, on the bottom. I just love the simplicity of these and it has another one of her images on the back and it's on this nice frayed super good quality handmade paper and there's the other image he's so adorable and there's the image on the back with a little tiny bird up there trying to survive the winter and i think this is tim holtz i'm not sure More printables from my kit, this bird and this journaling card. Little doily, and I like to leave sometimes the edge of the doily off when I sew it, so it, so it sticks out just a little bit. Printable from my kit. And a pocket. This is one of my favorite pages, layouts here. I really enjoyed making this. This is a printable, this, this little owl guy. It's um, from a vintage book. And I put him on here and then I took the end of a bolt of faux leather that I, I have a ton of faux leather in my shop, in my studio, um, and sewed it, sewed it on the page. It's also what I used on the front here as well. And then I put some sentiments here. Feather your nest, birds of a feather, L learn to soar and stretch your wings. And this is, of course, Gwen Frostick's image here on more beautiful paper. And then for the last and third signature, I um, sewed this quilting square on, and there's a piece of handmade paper here. And it tucks under. Here's the other side. More sewing. More sewing. I did a, I did quite a bit of sewing in this book. I have a new sewing machine, so I went crazy with it. I had a lot of fun. And this is just stuck on with washi tape. An image from the kit, from my printables kit. Another Audubon page from my kit and from my kit and this is an envelope that I put a little egg as a closure so you can tuck some things in there whoops whoopsie gotta go this way and so that stays nice and closed and in the center here I put some of this handmade paper and left left all of the strings and they 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 start to fray and they hang out the bottom I like this it's kind of a golden waxed linen uh, waxed thread an image from my kit the other half of that Audubon paper and a tuck spot that I just stapled some tea stained paper Another tuck spot, and another tuck spot. This is something I just started doing. It's really a lot of fun. I found a whole bunch of these old Rolodex sleeves at the thrift store, hundreds of them, and I grabbed them all up because I thought, how fun would that be 
to take, let's see if this will fit, to take something and you can put it in here. Look, that fits perfectly. Actually, I'll leave that in there for you because that's just perfect. Um, so now you have that, but you also have the tuck spot in the back. So you could put a photograph or something in here. And I really, really like these. more handmade paper and then on the very back is another one of Gwen's pages here and I put a vintage bookend plate on the back with my favorite bird the owl and it says rest play, pray sleep and there you have it wingborn so walk don't run to try to find some Gwen Frostick if you can She's got a number of books out, and it'll probably inspire you to to make something like this as well. It's awfully hard to cut apart her her uh, artwork. I'm not going to cut any more apart. This is going to be it, I think. So thank you so much for watching. This will be available in my shop June 25th around uh, by noontime, sometime in the morning. I'm going to get it listed. I've been homesick, so I'm uh, probably not going to get up super early tomorrow. But by noon, I promise it will be in the shop. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos. I do have a couple of series of tutorials, Use Your Scraps, and I have some other things going on and more tutorials that I'm going to start doing. I have an exciting announcement coming up in the next week or so about uh, some freebies that I'm going to be offering. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. And thank you all for your lovely support and for watching. See you soon. Bye.